We must accept finite disappointments but never lose infinite hopes. With this quote, I am Anali Gupta. Welcome you all to this since independence. So let's begin with today's latest BuzzFeed. Smriti Irani targets Rahul Gandhi in Amethi. Targeting Rahul Gandhi in Amethi, Union Minister Smriti Irani said on Tuesday that the Congress president has now become a missing candidate even after being a missing MP. Today, Narendra Modi will address the public meeting in Jaipur. In Rajasthan, voting for 13 seats out of 25 has been done on 29th April in the fourth phase. Now, for the remaining 12 seats, voting will be done on 6th May, for which both the main parties BJP and the Congress are fighting to their fullest. In this order, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will arrive in Jaipur on Wednesday. Clinch it to Narendra Modi in Varda speech now. The Election Commission Tuesday gave a clean chit to Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his April 1st speech at Vardha. As per the reports, an Election Commission spokesperson said that the matter has been examined in details in accordance to the extent, guidelines and provision to the Model Code of Conduct, the Representation of the People Act and the report of the Chief Electoral Officer Maharashtra. Accordingly, the Commission is of the considered view that in this matter no such violation has been noticed. A little violence happens everywhere, says Munmun Sen. Munmun Sen, the Trinamul Congress candidate in Bengal's Asansol, was heard saying that a little violence happens always. She was speaking to reporters on clashes between Trinamul and BJP workers at several polling stations in Asansol during voting for the fourth phase of the national election on Monday. Supriyo, the BJP candidate from Asansol, was on his way to a polling booth in Barabani when his car was attacked. The rear windshield of his car was smashed in the resulting clashes outside polling booth number 199. Inflation hits public. Price of LPG cylinder increased by rupees 6. During the Lok Sabha election, the general public has suffered a major setback on the inflation front. In fact, the price of non-subsidized LPG cylinder in Delhi and Mumbai has risen by 6 rupees. Apart from this, the prices of subsidized cylinders in these two cities have increased by 0.28 paise and 0.29 paise respectively. Cyclone Fani turned into extremely severe cyclonic storm. Cyclone Fani, which is approaching the Odisha coast, has turned into extremely severe cyclonic storm. The Navy said late last night, the state has been put on a yellow alert by the weather department. Distant warning signal 2 has been hoisted in all ports of Odisha and fishermen have been advised not to venture into the sea from Wednesday. Redmi Note 7 Pro gets fortnight support for gaming lovers. The managing director of Xiaomi India, Manu Jain, has announced that Fortnite will be supported in Redmi Note 7 Pro. Obviously, it is clear that Xiaomi has released a Fortnite support for Realme's new flagship smartphone, Realme 3 Pro, to compete directly. After giving Fortnite support in Realme 3 Pro, Jain promised that it will be supported soon in the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Samsung Galaxy A70 with 32 megapixel sale starts today. The Samsung Galaxy A70 sale has started in India. As a reminder, the new Galaxy A series smartphone was launched in the middle of last month and its release date was fixed on May 1. A70 is now being sold through Flipkart. Soon it will be made available on Samsung online shop, Samsung Opera House and retail stores. Pre-booking for the smartphone was started from April 20th, which closed on Tuesday 30th April. The go-down of Dharma production turns to ashes. Karan Johar's Dharma production's go-down got burnt down very early on. The 1800 square feet property in Goregaon burst into flames over its three stories and there was a furious fire which was constrained by various fire engines. A local of Sussex accuses Meghan and Harry of taking his Insta handle. BBC indicated that the couple's username Sussex Royal apparently some time ago had been with a West Sussex inhabitant named Kevin Keeley, who affirms that the handle was taken from him by Instagram without authorization. Now that's all for today. Subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest updates from our channel. Stay in touch with us to stay in touch with our world and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Details are mentioned below.